DJ Mickey on the inside. And as I've been sharing with you, I've got some new music to drop today. Now, you guys may be familiar with this name, Bling Bling, Red Van Maxi Taxi Driver, yeah? Well, he's more than just a maxi taxi driver. He's very talented, and he's here to bring to us some brand new music. We've got Bling Bling on the line. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon to DJ Mickey. Good afternoon, man. Now, yeah. Bling Bling, I shared with them you're a maxi driver, but you're more than just a maxi driver. Tell us, how did you get started uh, driving maxi? How long have you been uh, driving Maxi for? I have been driving Maxi for the past 21 years. It all started off with my sister, Althea. Mm-hmm. Uh, she bought this Maxi and had nobody to drive it. I was a, a security officer at the time. So I decided, well, all right, I will do it part-time. Mm-hmm. And it eventually was more lucrative than my job. So I continued. And here I am today, 21 years, still driving Maxi. You just dropped a bombshell. Uh, when, when I when I heard that song from my email, I said, "Wow, man, bling bling." Nah, 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 nah. nah. Matt, you, you sound like a professional. Tell tell me a little bit about your your musical career and how how did this uh, journey get all started with you? Well, you wouldn't believe where I started, Mickey. I ran a fall of the law a good couple of years ago when I was young and didn't know Christ. Mm. I was one about 16 or 17 years and I had to be incarcerated. Okay. And while being incarcerated, I um, I found out that I have a gift for playing music. I learned a, a number of different musical instruments. And after playing those musical instruments, I found out that I can also put music together. I, I used to arrange for the tea pan side that was um, on the island of Carrera. Okay. And um, you also had some Calypso competition, of which I, I won a couple. Before we go to those uh, Calypso competitions, you said you learned playing musical instruments while incarcerated? Yes, yes. What, yes. what What's the very first instrument you learned on? Uh, the first thing I learned was a quattro. So the four-string instrument, for those who don't know, that was used to play parang music at Christmas. Right. After I learned the quattro, and um, after learning the quattro, I saw this guy, he was a musician, and um, he also ran a fall with the law, and he was there. Mm-hmm. And he had a guitar, and I sat down, and I watched him play. Well, the quattro and, and the um, guitar shouldn't be that much uh, different, right? No, it is a big difference. Remember, the quattro is four strings, and right. the guitar is six strings. Okay. And the fingered position, basically, is totally different. Oh. But what I, what I realized... What I realized is that the time on the guitar, in time on the quattro is the same. When I change a chord, he change a chord. Right. When I play C, he play C. And I sat down and I looked at him and I said, okay, this thing isn't going to be hard. <laughs> and I picked up this guitar one day and my, I, I, really, get, I really get into it. Okay. You know, my, my fingers start hurting me, but I, um, <laughs> I, I, I know that. I, strings I, yep. on f- I tried playing a uh, guitar back in in the days when I was learning um learning music the theory and then I decided to go onto onto the guitar that lasted uh. all but one week and after <laughs> that <laughs> after that not me that and, and that guitar nah, that finger yeah. just hurt too much but that how, was it. how did you move from playing instruments to uh arranging the pan side the steel o- orchestra well there was a number of officers who was very instrumental in allowing the, the prisoners to, you know, free up. Some of them were pan players, and some of them was um, from this band, uh, Renegade. Uh, some was from All Stars, and they went out and they got some pans and they brought it. And, um, well, they showed me, they mapped out the, the, the notes on the pan, and I went and I, um, basically, it was the same chord they played on the guitar, the same yes. chord they played on the pan, and I just went from one step to the next. And then on Sunday mornings, on Sunday mornings, we used to have a priest coming in to do service. And um, we had a chapel, and the chapel had a piano. And that was it, you know, what happened there. So you went across to the piano. I went across to the piano. <laughs> and it started building from there, and I ended up to be the top musician on the island. Wow. Okay, so fast forwarding from, from playing the instruments, how did you get started in singing now? Well, the island started to have an interstation calypso competition. Okay. That's between Carrera Island Prison, Port of Spain Prison, and Golden Grove Prison. And they sent out a memo to all the superintendents and asked that people who are interested. And they came down and said, all right, all who want to sing. And that was it. I started to, the very first competition I represented, Port of Spain. Mm-hmm. And I wrote this song, I went up in my quattro, and I 
sang, it was an independent karate competition, and I sang and I won the first competition ever held. I think that was in 1985. Yeah, 1985. I went up to Carrera Island representing Port of Spain, and I won. The very first competition. Very first competition. And you won. Did you have any uh, experience in singing before before that competition? No, I was so frightened. <laughs> <laughs> I was so frightened, mm-hmm. but somehow the other, when God gives you a talent, when God gives you a talent, and um, you realize that you can use that talent, it becomes easy. I never knew that I was musically oriented until I reached on that island, oh. and I got into the music. Okay, so nice. I was frightened, but I it came out easily. And then after that, you just decided to take advantage of all the other uh, people that, that entered the competition, licking no, them I, down one after the next, <laughs> winning competition one after know, the next. Ironically, I was the island's arranger. And if it had 11 Calypsonians, I had to arrange 11 Calypsos, 11 different melodies. <laughs> and, but, then, and then you, you competed against what them. <laughs> well, yes, I did. But hmm. um, I, I, I lost two or three years. Oh, I wouldn't okay. lie, I lost two or three years. Okay. So I didn't win for the whole career. Mm. So you got into singing uh, back around what year? That would have been after 85, right? 1985, yeah. First was 1985, and then the, in 1986, when the Calypso competition started, mm-hmm. um, they sent me up to stay there. Okay. And that is when it all started. In 1986, I started to arrange. So you said you've been driving Maxi Taxi now for 21 years. You've 21 been winning years, competition yeah. all these years, Bling Bling. Why, why is it now that you decided to, uh, to release a song? After 20 plus years, now deciding to drop a, a single? COVID-19. <laughs> the COVID-19 had given me enough time. You remember? When you drive Maxi Taxi, I go to the road from 5 o'clock in the morning. Mm-hmm. And I come in at 8 sometime nine in the night. Okay. I don't have time. This song was booted at cut well the Takarigo Open Bible has a choir mm-hmm. of which I am a member. And um the choir mistress she decided that okay, the pastor has Zoom meetings for for um for church. The cell meeting has Zoom. So why not? Okay, now the choir has their own Zoom and that's how it started. Uh, she called the first Zoom meeting for the choir members. And we prayed, we sang, and at the end of it, um, one of the members, Miss um, Douglas, uh, she decided to pray and say, well, okay, we have members in the church who could sing music, who could sing and who could play music and who could arrange, mm-hmm. or they do something. And that was it. As the <laughs> prayer meeting was over, I went and sat down while I have my own keyboard home. I sat down by the keyboard, and my fingers just played with some melody. I had something in my mind, I played with it, and the Holy Spirit took over from there. Wow. It's a good thing uh, for, for this pandemic and you being restricted, having to spend time with the music now. Yes, things came out of COVID-19. Nice. I'm chatting with Bling Bling. Of course, he's here to drop his very first official, officially recorded song. Bling Bling, tell me, tell me a, a little bit about this song. Uh, what's the storyline behind it? The storyline behind this song basically is to let Christians and non-Christians know that you don't have to be in church praise God, right? When the enemy comes at you and he, you know, tries to keep you away, you can praise God in your heart, you can praise God in your home, and it also gives highlight to our leaders who have done so much to, to bring Trinidad and Tobago to the position we are in in this COVID-19 season. So basically, that is the whole highlight of the song, praise God, no matter where you are. Nice. All right, we're chatting with Mr. Bling Bling. Mr. Bling Bling, I want you to introduce this song to the nation. Let them hear it. Well, this is your boy, Mr. Bling Bling. And my friend DJ Mickey is going to drop this new track that I made. It's called Praise Be to God. Hope you enjoyed it. Listen to it carefully. Put it in your heart. Somebody say Kaiso, Kaiso. Pastor Terrence Veins, if you're listening, I know you're going to enjoy this one, all right? Brand new music from Mr. Bling Bling. Title of this one, Praise Be to God. Kaiso, Kaiso. Kaiso, Kaiso. And that's some music from the man, Mr. Bling Bling. Hey, Bling Bling. Yes, yes, DJ Mickey. Yeah, yeah. I'm P- here. People loving these songs, man. All praise and honor you unto God, man. Yeah, Appreciate that. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
I didn't realize that um, you're so gifted and talented in this art form, man. Well, would you believe my pastor when I sent him this song? He and I said he was surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me a little bit about the production of this uh, track. Oh, well, we're getting down to the nice part. This song would not be on the airwaves if it wasn't for my dear friend, Kevin Davis. Mm. Hat off to Kevin Davis. He's a member of the Sakharita Open Bible. He's also the church keyboardist. He's, he's the church everything. Whatever you want done musically, technically, yeah. you call on Kevin Davis. No matter what time of day or night, he does it. So if I come to Takarigua, um Church... And I want doubles. I just call on Kevin. Just call on Kevin. You <laughs> will get doubles. All right. Yeah. All right. Watch Mickey. <laughs> so how long did the song take for you to write? Well, it was written in about um, one week or five days. But the production took almost three weeks because Kevin is a man when he does something. He's a perfectionist. He, yes, because I, I nearly give up on this song. Yeah, I, I'm being honest. I nearly give up on this song because when we recorded the first part, like he recorded my voice and he recorded this guitar playing, then he, he recorded my voice again and said he didn't like it. Then he do it, he do over this song. Mm-hmm. Every minute Kevin doing over something, I say, look, this thing is too much. But the end result, as you can hear, the end result came out. Very well. All praise and honor to God. I'm pretty sure that you're happy that he yes. uh, made all those adjustments to uh, yes, to this track. Yes, yes, I am. I uh, honestly, when I heard this song the first time after he um, sent it to me about one o'clock in the morning, I cried. Wow. Tears, tears were not my eye. I didn't believe that this is the same song I I, I, I sang on my bed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also to the technical staff, um, Nicholas Rayburn. He is a guy who responsible for the um, the photography part. Mm-hmm. Uh, of the song and to my backup team to my backup team George and his beautiful wife Kevin also did backup Kevin and to Marsha Aline Aline has always forget your name that's why I didn't say Aline so George <laughs> and Aline and right. Kevin and Marsha just the voices you're hearing in the background those sweet voices beautiful now bling bling yeah. I'm guessing that this is the first of many to come right yes I've already started my second calypso mm-hmm. but I'm gonna give Kevin a rest because you really will so I'm going to give him a rest and then we're going to continue. And then you'll tackle it. Yes, we'll continue sometime in October or November. Curious question, Bling Bling. This type of Kaiso, would you be entering in any in any competition like a Calypso competition with this song anytime soon? I have no idea. I'm going to let my pastor guide me on that one. Okay. I am going to leave that in the hands of my pastor. So I, I really don't know. What is the future for me in terms of competition? All I want is the word of God to go forth nice. and go out on the airway. Nice, nice. Any more shout outs you want to give uh, before we look to wrap up? Well, I want to let people. I notice here, shout out your wife. You see, Nikki, you know, you. Yeah, shout man. out your wife. I had some doubles. I said I'd buy some doubles by <laughs> Ali's on Fifth Street for you in the morning, but like I've got to change my mind with them doubles. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening to my beautiful wife and to my son, Lennox Curtis Jr., mm-hmm. a.k.a. Prince. They're listening, they're listening. Right. They're on. She's listening? Yes. yes. So I, Simple. I, I just want to remind her that I had to remind you to shout her out. They're going again. <laughs> they're going again. Continue with the shout outs, man. <laughs> right. I just want to encourage uh, people who have run a follow of the law who is in at this moment that it's not the end of the world it's really not the end of the world for you guys mm-hmm. you have plenty of time on your hands to do something positive don't let that time you take there to do something negative I also sat GCE in prison I came up with five GCE O level passes okay so besides my musical abilities I got that while I was incarcerated in Carrera and when I was there so now I was told that it's totally different. Now those guys, they have computers, they have teachers coming in. It was just the officers who lend their time now and again to come in and teach us a little math and a little English. Mm-hmm. And I did well, myself and some other uh, prisoners. Beautiful. So guys, this is not the end of the road. Take your time, do something positive, and most of all, look to God to be a guidance. As small as it is, don't let anybody tell you God is not real. God is real. I know I was there. I know I am out here and I'm enjoying life with Christ. Beautiful. We're chatting with Lennox Batiste, a.k.a. Mr. Bling Bling. Thank you, Bling Bling, for sharing this song with the world, man. People are loving it. Thank you. I appreciate it. And thank you, 
Thank you, DJ of the year. Mm -hmm. Three times, mm -hmm. three times DJ nah, of the year. Twice, 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 twice. Yeah. Well, I prophesy, I prophesy. Three times DJ <laughs> of the year, DJ me. Uh, yeah, how, how can people get in contact with you and your producer if they need to? Well, the song is on YouTube. Just this morning, um, started the process to do a video okay. of the song. So you can contact me uh, via my WhatsApp page, 778-5596. That's 778-5596. Or email me at lennox883 at gmail.com. Lennox883 at gmail.com. And what about your producer's uh, contact? Could you remember that offhand? Uh, no, I, I do have his I do have his contact offhand. I okay. have him pinned on my WhatsApp chat. I, I open my WhatsApp. It's it's bit up in right, of my nice. face. Well, if they need yeah. to get in contact with your producer, they just link with you and uh, you can follow them. And we will share. Yes, we will share that information. All right, beautiful. Thank you, Bling Bling, yeah. for linking up with us, man. We're definitely going to be spinning this one. Thank you very much, DJ Mickey, for having me. Love it. Blessings.